just fed me back with another, well, it's not a profit video, but with some exciting news. I'm super excited and pumped about. Um, if you follow a cherry on top, I mean, if you shop from them or anything like that, on their website, they have a gallery. And if you post, you can post to their gallery. And then once a month, they choose a designer to be their guest designer for the month. Sorry, I'm making this really hard and difficult to say. Anyways, so I started posting on their inspiration board and I didn't realize they even had that. One of you guys, one of you subscribers had um, mentioned it to me that to do that. And so I started doing that and they asked me to be the September scrapbook guest designer. Um, and if you get chosen, you get $50 to spend in their shop and they have like everything obviously, but a cherry on top, my favorite way to shop with them is to do pre-orders, um, because they'll do pre-orders for all their stuff. And then you, obviously you won't get the product till it gets there, but you for sure are guaranteed that product. I placed a really large pre-order in July. That's not here yet, but it's because it's stuff that's not going to be available till September. So, um, it's stuff like that. They have everything else too, obviously, but, um, that's my favorite way to shop with them is for their pre-orders. But anyway, so I got $50 to spend in the shop and cause you know how I am. Um, I spent more than that with my own money, of course. And this is the collection I've decided to go with is fall cause September to me is like the beginning of fall. And it is Simple Stories New Cozy Days Collection. And I ordered the collection kit, which has 12 papers and the sticker, the cardstock sh sticker sheet. So I'll go ahead and show you those real quick. So that is the first paper. And I'll put the papers out how I'll most likely use them, probably. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Those are adorable, but that one's really pretty. And there's that one. I don't know. I like the yellow too. And this one. And I'm gonna go orange. Man, these are not like all B-sides. <laughs> and I love this blue, but I really want to fussy cut some of these. But I also got the 6x8 pad, so I might keep the blue. And this one is that with those on the back. And I think that's just so pretty. I'm definitely going to have to fussy cut some of those. And that. I'm going to have to go with that one. And then these tags are super cute. And on the back side, they're just generic blank tags with that you could use for journaling or anything like that. Um, move down here. And I love these tiny two inch cards because you can totally, you can use them as two inch pieces. You could use it as a strip. You could like cut it in half and use half of it and then have a picture across the top or use them as like die cuts as you cut them out. That's the back. So I'm gonna go with that one. Um, this is the cut apart sheet and it's the acorns on the back. It's so cute. It's my favorite. Um, I'm going to leave it on this side because I did buy another sheet of this separately so that I could get those acorns. And then there's that sheet and pies on the back. Oh, one more, sorry. And then this is the four by six pieces and there's a plaid on the back. So I'll leave it on that side for now. And then here are the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And it's got a lot of really cute icons, um, some little words, a little strip. But I love the hedgehog and the little raccoon. I actually have a perfect picture for this raccoon. There's pies. It could be used for fall. It could just be pretty colors. It doesn't necessarily have to be fall. I do have some pictures I'm going to use that aren't technically fall, but they're just those colors, which will be kind of cool. But then I did go separately because, you know, I can't stay in one collection. Um, I did go separately and get some other papers. This is from Heidi Swap's um, Art Walk. And I got it for that pink side. I wanted to bring some more of the pink in. This yellow I thought was going to be a little closer to this yellow. That was my own guess. But um, it's not quite, but it'll still work for this. This is really pretty. It's got tiny little fall leaves all over it. 
and it's got a plaid on the back. This is from Photoplay Fall Blessings. This is Fall Farmhouse from, I think it's Simple Stories. Yep, Simple Stories. There's a yellow on one side and then the little dots on the other. I got it from the dots. This is another one that I got two of it because I really loved it. Not necessarily that I have to use both for the kit, but they're just really pretty. It is Pink Paisley's and many more. And number 11, it's a, I think a happy birthday collection, but it's like this pale, pale pink with the little cream colored scallops. This is also another Simple Stories from the Simply Simple Vintage Collection. Great Escape? No. Simple Vintage Great Escape. Yes, sorry. And it's, the other side is their, the cards, the cut aparts, but I got it for this lovely green grid. And then I got three sheets of wood grain paper because we love wood grain. It's great for backgrounds and layering and everything in between. This is from, it's Happy Trails from Simple Stories. The other side is like a red plaid. Gingham. Then I got a couple sheets from the Amy Tangerine's new fall line it's called Late Afternoon. This is the cut apart sheet, which I might use some of the cut aparts for this because they kind of go really well. But I did get it for this side, so we'll leave it on that side for now. And then this is another one from that collection. Got it for that pink. I think that will be a great background. And then this one I also got for that background. But it's also got these cameras, so I'm thinking if I can do like a center cluster, I can cut, like gut out that part, and then I can get some cameras out of it as well. This is an older Pink Paisley from Paige Evans' Pick Me Up collection. It's just a pale pink grid. The acorns again that I was talking about that's got the other side. And then this was another one that I got two of because I loved that gray. It was a nice background kind of paper, but that was also be a great fussy cut. So that is all the paper I got. And then I got the stickers that go with this collection, or it's their version of stickers. Um, they're foam with chip, it's not chipboard, but um, like thick cardstock on top. So I thought those would be great for titles as well as, sorry, my lights are like doing a big glare. Okay, well, it's just gonna be a little bit of a glare, sorry. Um, and then this one is Thicker's Second Avenue. And I think it's from um, Jen Hadfield's new collection, her fall collection, but I thought these were really super cute and would go well with these with the gold. Then, of course, I could not get the 6x8 paper pad for all the layering and the cute little bits. And there's some papers in here that aren't in the 12x12s, so that's kind of cool as well. And it's also got a lot of great opportunities for fussy cutting, like that would be a great big piece um there was another one in there like that but stuff like that would be great for using either a big piece or fussy cutting or whatever then i got the sticker book for cozy days and it's really cute their sticker books are really awesome um these are like cardstock they're they're thinner stickers they're not super thick um, they're pretty thin, but it's like the texture is like cardstock so that you can like stamp and write on them very easily. You get tabs and labels, some words, some little fonts, the tiny type, which that pink's a little off from that, but I think it'll still be fine. Some florals and leaves, some tiny word strips, some little icons these guys aren't they adorable I just love those guys and then some more tiny words these are amazing and they're all like super fall themed some little circles and some little border strips and that's it and those I'll probably use more like washi tape kind of so there's that 
I also got the puffy stickers for this collection. They're super cute. The brand, because we have to have a lot of texture. I really like in this Brad set that they use just chipboard and they're not doing the tags with the with more Brad stuck in them. I really like their just chipboard pieces. Because I did want the chipboard, but I felt like the chipboard pieces, they were all kind of um images that were in the rest of the collection in the sticker book in there and in the paper so I didn't want to go overboard on the same images that I wouldn't end up using a lot of then I got this dance set is from Kaiser Craft it's fallen leaves and there's just a nice texture right there and then the leaves is really what I got it for is that big leaf and that one right there then I got two packages of the enamel dots and then all the sparkly bits. <laughs> I got some pink sequins. It's a mix with all different colors of pink in it. And I think there's some hearts in there as well. I got some little wood veneer butterflies. There's not a lot of collections that have wood veneer out right now. So I went with what I could find and I think these will be really cute with that. I do love wood veneer, so I needed to get something. And then I got a couple packs of buttons. And these are wood buttons that have been painted. And that blue is like the exact blue and that orange is like the exact orange. So it was perfect. They also had a green one, but I don't remember if I didn't get it for a reason or if I just, if they were out of stock or something. Um, and then I got these little leaf, here, I'm gonna have to open them up because they're like little leaf brads. See if I can do this without stabbing myself. They're little brads that look like little leaves. And they're just brads on the back. And they're in the same colors, that nice burgundy, the green, the tan, like camel color. And then the last thing I got are some mists. I got two shimmer sprays from Dilutions, and I love Dilutions shimmer sprays. Um, it is melted chocolate and dirty martini. So I thought those were colors that would go pretty well with this because that melted chocolate is almost like this orange brown color. And then that dirty martini is that perfect green up here. If you can see that green right there. And then I got um, Rusty Hinge in Distress Oxide. I love Distress Oxide sprays. So I thought that could be really great. And it's like kind of like that paler orange color, like more like that taupey kind of color, which is nice. So that is my kit. I am super excited and thrilled and so thankful that A Cherry on Top has asked me to be their guest designer. I can't wait to make all the fun projects with all their fun stuff and share them. I have already printed all my photos, or not all of them, but I've printed a bunch of photos so that I will have lots of fun things to scrapbook and to get inspired by. And hopefully tomorrow I will have my first process video up for a cherry on top. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy scrapping. Bye.